Hi, this is Scott W.U2O, and I wanted to share with you some work that Andrew Mike Zero Yankee Golf Golf has accomplished in his new version of OpenHBSDR that allows the use of any MIDI controller and not just the original three hard-coded Hercules series MIDI controllers to operate the radio and the software. As you can see here, I've got my radio software running here, version 336 with the changes that Andrew has rolled into it with the MIDI controller. And now on the other side of the screen here, uh, this is actually a live screen capture of my Nexus 7 Android tablet running some MIDI control software called TouchOSC. And TouchOSC is created by a company called Hexler.net. It's very cool. You can define your own touch operated MIDI control services. So I'm going to operate this with the mouse just uh, for clarity's sake, uh, but it's easily done uh, with the Android tablet sitting right here in front of me just using my finger. So uh, you'll have to trust beyond that. So we've got the uh, TouchOSC MIDI software here and the Open HPSDR software here. Uh, first, let me show you how easy it is to configure it. Up to setup. And of course, we've got CAT control in MIDI. You select it, other MIDI device, click configure. And then all you have to do is touch on a control. For example, here I have an unmapped button that I have not used before. Just click that. And uh, this control name here is uh, as a uh, convenience to you, if you have a uh, regular controller, you can put the name of the actual control, say fast forward, rewind, what have you, uh, just to remember uh, what that control is. I'll just label this spare number two. And uh, ultimately, right, you would just paste over this uh, on the physical controller with some label tape that would say what you're really assigning it to. Now we can assign any control as a button or a knob or a slider or a wheel. This of course is a button and uh, I'll assign it to uh, XIT on off just for fun. I haven't assigned that yet. And we click done and we click save and we click OK. And that's all there is to it. That's how you assign controls. So now if I go and I click on this button that I have not labeled yet in my uh, touch off software. You can see the XIT control turned on. Now it turned off. And then, of course, all the controls work just the way you'd expect them to. Uh, for example, here's the AGC slider. I can move that around and move the AGC line around here. Put it down there. We've got uh, a whole bunch of controls. They all work exactly how you would expect. I can turn on NR2, here turned on, turn it off. You'll notice that the NR2 button actually lit up red when I did that. This is another new feature of Andrew's software. You can program the uh, configuration, the MIDI controller, so that the radio software actually sends the right commands back to the MIDI surface to turn on and off lights. Uh, so if your MIDI controller supports that as lighted buttons, you can make that happen. And let me show you how that works very quickly. Again, we go back into setup, figure. Click on the button in question. And you'll see it already shows that uh, I called it NR2. I've signed it to noise reduction two on and off command. And I've already, it's already displaying the advanced options over here. Normally it would come up like this, and then you would click on show advanced options. And you can see I've got some some things, some, some encoded uh, springs down here. You do have to little, know a little bit about your MIDI controller to know what to type in here, but you could define the correct MIDI codes for button down and button up events to turn on and off the uh, illumination on the buttons or change its color or whatnot, whatever your MIDI controller is capable of. So it's just that easy. Um, click back here. There is a diagnostics tab here. So if you click a button, you can see what the button's doing. 
or if you were to spin a little slider, you know, a, a, a wheel control wheel or something, you can see right what the codes are so that you can uh, help figure things out for yourself. Uh, there's a, uh, obviously the mapped controls window, you've seen that already. And now uh, there's also this window that shows you all possible commands and whether you've mapped them or not and what you've mapped them to. Now there is one restriction, uh, for example, again, I'll, I'll use NR2 as an example. Turn it on, it's red here. It shows on in the GUI. Unfortunately, uh, this is only one-way communication right now. If you use a control in the MIDI surface, it will be able to know whether or not to illuminate the uh, particular button in question. Fortunately, there's no, there's no push down in the MIDI surface. So if I turn it off here, turn it back on, you can see that there's uh, there's no change here in the MIDI surface. So I'm sure Andrew is working on that uh, innovation as we speak. All the rest of the things work exactly as you'd expect. For example, we can tune the VFO. Let's turn on some receiver audio here. Anywhere from a 10 over to an S5. And I could just as easily do this with my finger on my tablet as my mouse here, but it's just easier for me to keep track of what I'm doing. I don't know. It's hard to believe it's a type of radar or something like that, but I have no and idea. And we can do things like uh, what the heck uh, the, the intent of it is, but around. clearly it's, uh, it's an intentional see. signal that's doing something. And uh, um, seeing lots of strange things with this uh, with this SDR stuff, it's marvelous. This is WB2LOI. Uh, let's see, we've got to uh, let's push the uh, VFOs around here with the A to B button. Click split. There we go. You guys it all works hear, just the way uh, you'd expect it to. A, uh, a the other interesting thing is uh, this Touch Touch Us software is very cool. Uh, you can get it for the Android tablet, or you can get it for an iOS tablet. You can define as many pages of controls as you wish. For example, here's my second page that I'm currently working on. I've got the mode button and the band buttons. In the dim recesses of my it mind, that sounds well. familiar. Uh, do you know what that is? Hopefully you found that entertaining and useful. No idea. I'm trying to And it out. hopefully Andrew is, uh, is going to get a lot of accolades for his software, which he's still working on and still continuing to add more and more features. So that's it. it this is uh, WU2O. Seventy-three.